Hey folks, Nas here. Uh, I've got another Medieval Dynasty guide for you today. In today's guide, we're actually going to be comparing the Smithy 1 and the items that you unlock for that and the Stone Knife. So we're going to be looking at, in the Smithy 1, the wooden shovel, the wooden bolt, the cudgel, the stone sickle, the copper hammer, copper axe, copper hoe, copper shovel, copper sickle, copper knife, copper arrow, copper bolt, copper spear. Those are going to be the items today that we're going to be looking at and seeing what it takes to craft them, uh, how many you can carry before you're encumbered. That way you can make your trip to the vendor and sell whichever items you're going to choose to, to craft. Uh, how many materials each uh, each run. So, so however many you can carry on you, I'm going to tell you how many uh, materials you're going to need to carry each of those items. Or excuse me, to craft each of those items. So to start off with, just like in the stone knife versus the workshop one, we're going to start off with the same base carry weight of 65 kilograms max. So this uh, is taking into account that you've already gone and followed my, you know, 2000 coins in the first day video. You've gotten your simple large backpack and your large pouch. This will increase your carry weight from 35 kilograms to 65 kilograms. Uh, now I'm not using any of the mule skill perks because uh, I'm, I'm kind of keeping this on the base stats. Uh, if you are using mule skill perks, then obviously these numbers that you're going to be able to carry and make and uh, make more coin from is going to be more. But I'm do I'm basing this off of still an early game kind of a, a setup to where maybe you don't quite have enough skill points to take the mule perk yet. Um, but so you can go from there. You may have to do some math if you're using the mule skill perk. But for this one, we're using a base max carry weight of 65 kilograms. Now I'm also taking into account that you're probably gonna be wearing clothes, you're gonna need food and weapons and ammo, and probably gonna take some potions with you, depending on where you're going to the vendor and whether you wanna run there naked or not. Uh, I personally don't wanna to run to the vendor naked in case I run into trouble. Um, so I'm taking into account that the items that you're carrying on you are roughly going to be about seven kilograms. That might be a little bit heavy on my figure, but at least I've got a number to go off of. So from the 65 kilograms max carry weight, you subtract the seven kilograms of the approximate clothing, weapons and such weight. And we're left with an available carry weight of 58 kilograms. <clears throat> now, again, no, no mule skill perks here. If you're using it, these values are going to be higher for you. Alrighty, so like we figured out in the last guide that I made with the stone knife and the workshop one, the stone knife, it takes two stone and five sticks to make one knife. The stone knife sells for 20 coin and there we're not also not using any barter perks. So no mule perks. No barter perks. This is all base value stuff. Um, so the stone knife sells for 20 coin at 100% condition. Now, if the condition falls off, so if your condition is lower on any item, the amount that it sells for is also going to be lower. So all of these figures are going to be at 100% condition. The stone knife, one stone knife weighs point five kilograms uh, and it requires no building to craft it. You can actually open your personal crafting uh, wheel and craft it on your person as long as you have the required material items to craft it. There's also no schematic cost. You don't have to buy the schematic. This is the base item. It comes in already in the game when you first start a brand new game. Now for the Smithy one, we're going to start with a wooden shovel. Now, everything in the Smithy one, you have to buy the schematic for it. So you're going to have to have coins to buy those schematics. Now, the wooden shovel requires two logs to craft one wooden shovel. 
It sells for two and a half coins at 100% condition. It weighs two kilograms per shovel. Obviously, it requires the smithy to craft it. And the schematic cost is 50 coins. The wooden bolt, 10 sticks, 10 feathers, get you 10 wooden bolts. At 100% condition, it sells for 3.5 coins each, and it weighs 0 0.01 kilogram each. So that's, again, each. So it takes 10 sticks, 10 feathers to craft 10 wooden bolts. That's one crafting session, gets you 10 wooden bolts. Each bolt sells for 3.5 coins each, and each bolt weighs 0 0.01 kilograms. So it's, we're, that's not selling it the 10, it's one. <laughs> uh, requires the smithy. The schematic cost is 50 coins. Now the cudgel, cudgel is one log to craft one cudgel. Sells for two and a half coins at 100% condition. Each cudgel weighs 1.5 kilograms and the schematic cost is 50 coins. Stone sickle. Uh, the materials for it are four stone and four stick. Crafts one stone sickle. Sells for 22 and a half coins each at 100% condition, and it weighs 0.75 kilograms. Um, and the schematic cost for that is 100 coins. Now we're getting into the copper items that you can start crafting in the Smithy One. Uh, and your copper items are going to be limited to, so the amount of copper items you can craft are going to be limited to how much copper ore you can mine per season. Now, there are five cave locations around the map. You've got one between Gustovia and Hornica. You've got one northeast of Hornica. You have one northwest of Jezrika. You've got one between Lesnica and Jezrika. And you have one between Baranica and Baranica, which is where my season five is currently taking place. Now, you can get approximately 90 copper ore from each cave. Now, each cave is probably going to give you a little bit different amount. You know, you'll probably get less than 90 in one. You might get a little bit more than 90 in another. But approximately 90 copper ore in each cave. If you visit each cave during the season, you could have approximately 450 copper ore. This can be turned into 225 copper bars per season. Now this is a this is an estimate. Uh, I've gone through my mine and I've gotten excuse me I've gone through my cave because I don't have the mine yet my season five, but I've gone through my cave and I've gotten anywhere between eighty and about hundred and five copper ore because it varies each season. <clears throat> so it is slightly excuse me it is, each cave is slightly random on how many copper ore you're going to get. So. That is, uh, that's going to limit you on how many times or how many items you can craft per season, as opposed to some of the other items that only require stones and sticks and logs and feathers, uh, because those are typically more plentiful than the metals. But anyway, next up is the copper hammer. It requires two copper bars and one stick. To make one copper hammer, it sells for 55 coin each at 100% condition, and it weighs two, two kilograms, and the schematic cost is 100 coins. The copper axe requires one log and four copper bars to make one copper axe. It sells for 90 coin at 100% condition, it weighs three kilograms, and the schematic is 150 coins. Copper hoe. Requires one log, two bars to make one copper hoe. It sells for 55 coins at 100% condition. It weighs two kilograms and its schematic cost is 150 coins. Copper shovel is two logs, two bars to make one copper shovel. Sells for 90 coins at 100% condition. The carry weight is three kilograms and the schematic cost is 100 coins. The copper sickle is one log, three bars. It sells for 70 coin at 100% condition. It weighs one kilogram. The schematic cost is 150 coins. The copper knife is one stick, two bars. It sells for 55 coins at 100% condition. It weighs 0.5 kilograms and the schematic cost is 150 coins. The copper arrow is two bars, 10 sticks, 
10 feathers and it again one crafting cycle gets you 10 copper arrows each arrow sells for 4.5 coins each at 100 percent condition each arrow weighs 0 0.01 kilograms each and the schematic cost is 100 coins the copper bolt is the same thing 10 sticks two bars 10 feathers it gets you 10 copper bolts it sells for 4.5 coins each at 100 percent condition uh weighs 0 0.01 kilograms for each arrow and the schematic cost is 100 coins and lastly we have the copper spear it takes one log two bars and you're also going to need one linen thread now, earlier in the game, you're probably going to need to be buying thread. So the copper spear may not be the way to go if you're trying to make money. Now, obviously, you could use the copper spear as a weapon, and that's fine. Uh, but if you are having to buy materials, then that's going to take away from the, the amount of coins that you make. But you can craft whatever you'd like to craft. But anyway, one log, two bars, one linen thread gets you one copper spear. The copper spear, spear sells for 85 coins at 100% condition. It weighs 2 kilograms, and the schematic cost is 150 coins. Alrighty, so now we're going to get into how many items of each of the items we just listed, how many you can carry before you're encumbered. So we're using that 58 kilograms of carry weight that we had talked about earlier. Because remember, we've got 65 kilograms of max base weight, no mule perks, and that, and we've accounted for seven kilograms of items we're carrying on us between clothing, weapons, ammo, food, potions. I'm averaging about seven kilograms. It might be a little bit less. So that gives us 58 kilograms, uh, of carry weight that we have available to carry these items on us. So you're going to take that and you're going to divide the 58 kilograms of carry weight by how much each item weighs, not by the entire lot, just by how much each item. So the stone knife weighs, you know, half a kilogram, 0.5 kilograms. You can carry 116 stone knives on you before you're encumbered. Now, if you have the mule perk, obviously these are going to be higher numbers. We're not doing the mule perk for this guide. This is strictly a base number guide. The wooden shovel, uh, at 0.2 kilograms each, you can carry 290. Now, the wooden bolts, uh, at 0 0.01 kilograms, you can carry 5,800 wooden bolts. <laughs> so, that's a lot of sticks and a lot of feathers, which we're going to go over in just a little bit. Uh, the cudgel, uh, at 1.5 kilogram weight each, you can carry 38. Uh, stone sickle at 0.75 kilograms each, you can carry 77. The copper hammer at 2 kilograms each, you can carry 29. The copper axe at 3 kilograms each, you can carry 19. The copper hoe at 2 kilograms each, you can carry 29. The copper shovel at 3 kilograms each, you can carry 19. The copper sickle, at one kilogram, you can carry 58. Uh, the copper knife at half a kilogram, you can carry 290, just like the wooden shovel. Uh, the copper arrow and the copper bolt are also going to be the same as the wooden bolt. So they weigh 0 0.01 each for the arrow or 0 0.01 each for the bolt. And you can carry 5,800. It's 5,800 you can carry on you before you're encumbered. The wooden spear at two kilograms each, you can carry 290. Alrighty, so now we're going to get into how many, how much materials you need per run. So you've, you've, all the items that we just went over, how many you can carry on you. This is how many materials you're going to need for each item to craft that run. So if you're crafting uh, the um, stone knives, the 116 stone knives, you're going to need 232 stone and 580 sticks. So that's how this is this this materials per run is going to be is going to be listed. So the wooden shovel, you're going to need 580 logs per run. That's 145 maple trees if you don't take the stump. The wooden bolt is 5,800 sticks and 5,800 feathers. This is also going to be 
for the copper arrow and bolt as well. Uh, the cudgel is 38 logs. The stone sickle is 308 stone and 308 sticks. The copper hammer, 58 bars, 29 sticks. The copper axe, 19 logs, 76 bars. The copper hoe is 29 logs, 58 bars. The copper shovel is 38 logs, 76 bars. The copper sickle is 58 logs, 174 bars. The copper knife, 290 sticks and 580 bars. Uh, the copper arrow and the copper bolt, just like the wooden bolt, are going to require 5,800 sticks, 5,800 feathers, and then they're also going to require 1,160 bars. Now, you can't make 100 or 1,160 bars in a season. Because if you remember at the top, we only were able to make 225 uh, bars, even if we went and visited all five of the caves on the map. So your copper arrows and your copper bolts, you're not going to be able to get these numbers. Now, granted, you may be able to collect bars over time, uh, which would probably take you, what, five, maybe six seasons doing estimated math off the top of my head <laughs> to be able to have 1160 bars. So copper arrows and copper bolts, it would be one thing to maybe craft some to mix in with whatever you're selling. Uh, but I would not necessarily try to make a huge profit off of selling copper arrows and copper bolts, at least because then you're using all your copper and you're left with 10 that you can't do anything with because they don't have 10 tools. Uh, you have to have the copper and the tin to make bronze. So you could be shooting yourself in the foot, so to say, uh, if you're using up all of your copper. Now, the copper spear, which we talked about a little bit ago because you're going to need linen thread, is going to require 290 logs, 580 bars, 290 linen thread. Uh, so again, I don't think copper spears are going to be a viable option to sell, to make coin, until maybe you have linen thread on hand. So if you have a flax field going or something like that, you've got your own linen being crafted, then at that point, maybe you could look at that uh, as an option. Um, but anyway, moving on, we are going to now look at how many coins can be made per run, regardless of whether you, <laughs> regardless of whether you can have all of the materials on you or not. Speaking of the copper bars, uh, because it's still uh, viable to make it per run if you're collecting all those bars and not using them each season for the arrows and, and the bolts, copper arrows and copper bolts. But anyway, the stone knife you can make per run two thousand. 320 coin. The wooden shovel is 3,625 coin, but it takes a ton of cutting trees. Now, granted, the stone knife requires a ton of collecting stone and sticks. Now, granted, you get the sticks from chopping down trees and, of course, picking them up off the ground or picking the, the, the little stick bushes. And the stones, you can get the stones off the ground or when you're going in and mining your, your copper and your tin and your, and your salt, you're getting stone from that as well. So there's easy ways to get stone. Uh, there's easy ways to get sticks. And you can combine any of the items in these guides that I'm putting out showing you what you can craft and sell. You can combine any of those items. You don't have to sell just one item. You can make several items and sell them if you wanted to. This is just giving you kind of a, a, a generalized look at what you could craft and how much you could make. But anyway, uh, the wooden shovel, 3,625 coins. Now the wooden bolt, uh, you can make per run 20,300 coin. That's a ton of coin. If you can collect all those sticks and all those feathers and craft wooden bolts and not run short on ammo for yourself, 
wooden bolts, not a bad way to go at all. And this is a, this, it's a renewable resource, you know, to where you, you've got so much sticks available to you. And then feathers you get from chopping down the trees. So, I mean, you can combine a bunch of stuff and craft and, and make a ton of coin. Uh, let's see the cudgels, 475 coin per run. Uh, that matter of fact is the weakest item in this guide. <laughs> now that's not to say you want to, don't want to make a cudgel and keep it on you. That way you can bash heads in, but you know, uh, the stone sickle, you can make 1,732.5 coin per run. The copper hammer is 1,595 coin. The copper axe is 1,710 coin. The copper hoe is 1,595 coin. The copper shovel is 1,710 coin. The copper sickle is 4,060 coin. The copper knife is 15,950 coin. The copper arrow and the copper bolt they're going to make you the same amount of money at 26,100 coin. Now, you cannot make that each season. It's going to be a fraction of that because you can, remember, we talked about how many bars you can get. You can only get like 225 bars per season. And this required, uh, it required the, the bolt, the copper arrow on the copper bolt requires 1,660 bars. It's a ton of bars. Like it's going to take you a year and a half to collect all of that. If you visited all five caves each season, which now granted, if you're on, you know, a longer days per season. So, you know, 10, 15, 30 or whatever. And then you go around and you collect all of the, the, the copper and everything each season, then you could do one run every year and a half and make this money. Is it, economical is it is it effective eh. efficient no <laughs> that you could easily make that and more in a year and a half time doing the wooden bolts heck you could probably make more than that doing the wooden shovel and stone knives i mean there's there's so many possibilities i would not do i personally i would not craft and sell most any of the copper items unless I had a super abundant amount of copper on hand and needed to get rid of it. Uh, that would be the only time I would really do that because I personally would be using the copper to craft tools and such for my villagers to use rather than doing the stone tools because they go through them so fast. Uh, and I personally like to get to the bronze as quick as I can. That way I can make bronze tools for my villagers as well. Because again, the bronze tools will last longer than the copper tools. Uh, and this also utilizes the tin that you're going to be getting out of the caves as well. Otherwise, there's really nothing you can do with the tin by itself. Because the tin requires you to put it with the copper to make bronze. That's the only use for tin in the game right now. Alrighty, folks, there we go. We've gone over the Smithy one and compared it to the stone knife on uh, how much money you can make per run for each of the items that, that are unlocked in the Smithy one. Now, these are not all the items you can craft in the Smithy one. These are the items that unlock when you unlock the, the Smithy one. That way you could buy the schematics. So if you go and look in the uh, Smithy one, just the items to where you can buy the schematics. That's what I'm I'm comparing in this. Well, anyway, folks, uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please hit that like button and make sure to hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already. Uh, also, you can find my links to Discord, Twitter, Buy Me a Coffee, Facebook, Reddit, all in the description below. And we'll see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.